Hi friends, this is the final insight on my talks on relationships during the season of Lent. All of us have brought up to believe that a good prayer life, good private morality is the very foundation of our spiritual life as Christians. When we said our prayers, whether privately or liturgically, when we had a sound morality, we were good Christians. And these were non-negotiable. Personally, as a Catholic, I was brought up to believe that also a great sense of charity, doing to others, giving to others something of our own sustenance and standing up for social justice was also a non-negotiable. But is there that all that we require to be good Christians? Is there all that is there to it to have a sound spiritual life? Do we feel that there is something else lacking? Why do I say this? Because we find a lot of people, even ourselves, doing a lot of good things in our life. We are prayerful, we have sound morality, we do stand for social justice, we are charitable, but we have still there is in each one of us and people around us a sense of bitterness, a sense of anger, a lack of gratitude, a lack of real joy. Some of us even have hatred. We spew venom about others and we send it across, even though we are good Christians. Remember the young man who came to Jesus in the Gospels and he told Jesus, I have done everything well. I have a sound spiritual life, but there is still something lacking. And Jesus told him, Go sell everything and come and follow me. Come and become a disciple of mine. In other words, Jesus was offering him friendship. And that is an important pillar also of good and sound spiritual life. So there is prayer life, there is sound morality, there is social justice and also friendship. The last is as important in the others because it warms us up and good friendship removes every vestige of ingratitude and anger and bitterness. Remember also what Jesus reminded us in the Gospel on the very first day of the season of Lent on Ash Wednesday that speaking on the Sermon on the Mount he said all these things are good prayer, charity and fasting. But sometimes we can do that to get a good review from others. I pray, I fast, I do charity, but I want to be recognized from others. And therefore, at the end of this season, I may be still struggling with anger, with bitterness, with being self-righteous, with being indignant, feeling that I have done better than others. So what is lacking in us is a sense of removing the inward hurt the sense that we have discovered friendship and we must discover that friendship among those around us in our spouse, in our children, in our parents rediscover warmth, laughter, joy, embrace and see how bitterness, how anger, how self-righteousness slowly disappears from our life because in the end when we discover joy in friendship, we can also discover God. And this is what St. John tells us, that God is love. No one has ever seen God, but God is present in we love one another. God is in the union that we have with each other in warm, loving friendships. So. If you want to perfect everything in our life, learn that perfection can come with love. Love can change everything. God bless you.